Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and you hopefully just watched my unboxing video. If you have, welcome to the first installation video. Now, a lot of people asked me to do this one. I did it for the Galaxy S3, and a lot of people want to see what the actual first installation is like on the HTC One as well. So we're going to show you today. So as you can see here, when you first boot one, it's got all the different kind of languages. Obviously, we'll just go here really quickly. So it's got different languages. Obviously, I want to be United Kingdom, so okay. Click start. I think it asked me to actually log on to one of my Wi-Fi networks. So I will log on to my 5 gigahertz one, so I'll just sign into that. So it's got my password in there, so let's just uh, connect to that bad boy. To say, man, it feels absolutely gorgeous in the hand. I know it sounds really weird, but look how sexy it looks as well. It's, oh, it's lovely. Got to see in the front, obviously in the first video, you've got your front, your front facing camera as well there. Next part. So, it's now it's going to ask us to go to set up from scratch, or restore, or import content. Now I'm going to set up as a brand new device today, so I'll click next on that one. Right, so you can use your computer to set up your personal emails, etc. So if you want to get started, so what you can do is actually access the link below on your computer to get started. We're not going to do that, we are just going to just do the normal set up, so we're just going to skip that part. I may do a video on that in the future. So now it's going to ask us, do we want to sign into these kind of different services? So we've got a HTC account, your Google account, um, Exchange Active Sync, Mail, Dropbox, Sync notes with Evernote, Facebook, Flickr for HTC Sense, LinkedIn, Microsoft, um, Hotmail, Twitter, and Watch. So obviously we're going to log into a Google account. So I'm just going to log into my Google account really quickly. Right, so it's asking me do I want to restore from my Google account, do I want to keep it backed up. So I'm not going to restore this one today. But I will uh, ask it to keep it backed up for me. So as you can see, it's got a little tick there for the Google account. So again, we can do Exchange, Mail, uh, Dropbox, HTC account. I'm just going to do my Google account just for today. But again, you can set up any of the other ones. So go next. It's going right. Do you want to sign into your Dropbox? So like, oh, we get 25 gigabytes. Hell yeah, I want to get 25 more gigabytes. So I'm just going to log into that one as well. So as I'm logged into my Dropbox now, do I want to do with the auto upload? I'm not going to have that turn on today, so I'm just going to skip that. And it's right. At HTC, do you want to actually make it better? So if we click tick yes then basically they'll get like, you know, kind of usage in you know, that kind of statistics. I'm not a fan of that, so I always don't have those turned on personally. It's now saying, all right, do you want to collect anonymous data? So allow Google's location to collect anonymous data. So obviously um, collection will be incur when no applications are running. Um, probably not, no. And use my location. Yeah, I'll let me use that one. I don't mind that one. Disable location services by disable location to collection, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm okay with that one. So, what do you want to do with regards to time and date? That's actually correct anyway, so the time's correct on there. <laughs> I don't know why it's in that. So, next, HTC backup. So, you can backup your phone daily, uh, backup to settings, accounts, and passwords, uh, bookmark apps, and daily over Wi Fi, which I think is pretty cool. You can back it up via the cloud. So, if I decide, yeah, I want to do that, it says, no, turning on the HTC backup will disable the backup to Google servers. So, you can either use HTC to back it up, or you can use hit, um, Google to back it up. HTC or Google, basically, you've got to choose which one you want to do. So again, I'm just gonna, we're not going to have that one turned on just today. So it's like saying, right, do you want to give my uh, phone a name? So, like, yep, yeah, I certainly do. Next and finish. So that's it. It was a bit of a longer video than I was expecting. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this video here. If you've got any questions or whatnot, any more video requests, do leave them a comment down below. And I'll see if I can get them all answered for you. And what do you reckon? Are you a fan of the HTC One? If you are, please leave that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'm going to have a hell of a lot of content going forward for the HTC One. And many more devices. And yeah. And anyway, if I'm finally going to get off. Again, follow me on Twitter at SamJPullen. I'm also Google Plus, Facebook, all the kind of social places. And yeah, stay tuned for a lot more coverage of the HTC One. And I will see you in my next video. Cheers everyone.